In the Fincy photo, you can create all kinds of amazing distortions, textures, overlays, backgrounds, all from a very basic noise effect. But you need a layer. So layer and new layer. That's always the start point for the Fincy photo. So you can see now you've got a layer there, pixel layer, and you can go to filters, and you go down here to noise and purling noise. Now in purling noise, the colors you get there will be dependent on here. So go over here and you can just double click there and turn it into red, green, etc. I'm going with black and white. And you can also modify the octave. So I've got two, 41, 55 there. And you can just vary it, you know, just change it. You want more or less. I'm just going to go for about that. And click apply. And you've got that very quick basic texture effect. But what you can also do is you can apply other effects to make it even more interesting. That's filters. Go down to colors and down to this one, Veronio. I assume that's how it's called. So select that and you can modify the cell size. Now I'm going for about 60, but you can of course reduce it. And you can see the effect there. So about 60 and also line width, I'm going for about 17 and click apply. And you've got that. Now at this point, unfortunately you lost that blurriness. I want the blurriness. So I'm going to go back to filters, blur and Gaussian blur. So Gaussian blur, and just set it to maybe about six or seven. Just blur it slightly so you get a bit of blur in there. Then click apply. Once you've done that, I mean, it's fairly reasonable, great little texture, but I like to create a little bit more randomness to it. And the great way of doing that, filters, distort and deform. So deform, and with that you can then, now, Makes an, actually, I'll just make some, this is the key thing, make sure you select the move tool. The form works most of the time, but unfortunately, sometimes, if you have other tools selected, it doesn't work very well. So filters, distort and deform, and I'm going to go with similarity. And what I want is to create some like twirls in this, so just click and add some pins. You know, you can add them all over the place and then just simply drag. You don't have to use them. You can see as you drag it close to the other one, then you turn it around like that, you get these lovely knots or twirls in this. And also you can just click there and you can drag it out. But it just creates, I think, a bit of variety to it instead of that basic sort of linear looking design. And you can add like lots of these again and add more twirls and designs and distortions all around certain points like that. Create something of interest in the design. So you've got that and Click apply. You could obviously continue. You could apply it a couple of times. You could always go to filters, repeat deform. Sometimes I like to do that just to see what it creates. But I'm going to undo. Now with this, I think that's quite an interesting texture. But if you want to add some depth to it as well, what you can do is go to select and selection from layer intensity. No good for this one. Layer intensity. So go with that. Low intensity, and then go to edit and copy. Obviously, you can use shortcuts with a lot of these, but edit and copy, and then select and deselect. I don't want it selected anymore. Edit and paste. So now you've got a layer. This is a layer with not all the pixels that were in the original one, but a fair amount. And with this layer, I can go and select it, go to effects, click there, and now I can go for 3D. And with 3D now, you can see there's a bit of depth coming into this. So I just want to just increase, not too much. I just want to push it out a bit. Maybe go for Bevel and Boss as well. Just go, tweak that. You can just try it. But just 3D and Bevel. Just different settings. Just maybe go for 25. And also you can go down to here, direction. You can see as you do that, move that around. And you can, of course, try different things with profiles as well. That's another option. Click there. And you can see as you do different profiles, that creates some interesting sort of additional designs if you want to create some sharpness to it. But I'm going to remove that. I just want that basic design. And with that, oops, close it. And, of course, you could do this maybe multiple times. Maybe have three or four of these layers, try different settings to them, and build up a complex design. Well, what you can then do is you can go and select both those. So both those are selected and go to layer and just down there to merge selected. 
So they're all merged into a single pixel layer. Now this is a texture design that you can use with lots of different filters. And I'm gonna show you how very shortly with displays in the next video. So please check that out.